Pastor Johnson, um, First Lady uh, Johnson, again, Missionary Johnson, my own wife's son, uh, my, uh, my lovely sister, and of course our uh, Minister of Music, uh, Josiah Garrett. You know, I, you know, sometimes I'm very telling, and this is something that we've been talking about during the week, how he praised God for being in God's Age and Bible Fellowship <laughs> Church. Amen. 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 That was on the last Sunday when we won, uh, it was made you laugh. Did you ever go to church this morning? <laughs> I mean, and, and it's just, you know, I can tell he's just enthused. He loves the church. He loves coming. Amen. And, and that's telling for a child who loves to come to church. When so many kids only come to church because their parents drag them to church. Mm-hmm. That's saying, you're going to come to church, I come to church. And that's what you're going to do. But he, as his little, loves coming to church. And that's that same spirit of love that we should have. For God to just want to run to his house. And that's the same thing I got. I, I, I'm just so happy and enthused to be here on this morning. Um, I Forgive me, I got a little bit of a stuff running down. But, you know, I, on this week, as, you know, I was going through you know, different trials and circumstances. And um, it's always true, you know, if, if, you're, if you praise God in the middle of your circumstance, he'll help you get through it. Yeah. And uh, just to give you the illustration on this week, of course, different things start happening again. The beginning of the week, uh, uh, Monday and Tuesday, um, I was, I was, I admit, I was into myself some. Um, I was not, you know, where I needed to be uh, spiritually in my mind. Uh, you come out of circumstance, and I was sitting there, and I remember I had talked to uh, uh, my mom, you know, she was like, you know, we ask God, you know, here's direction, what to do. And so the first two days of the week, I was hearing nothing. Granted, it's because I was in myself, and I was focused more on my circumstance, my situation, than I was the man uh, who can bring me out of my situation. Mm-hmm. And so then Tuesday, uh, Tuesday came, I remember I was sitting at the house, and, 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 and you know, whoa, 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 you know, God woke me up that morning, and first of every morning, I, I wake up, I pray. I said, when did I do what I usually do? And so finally, you know, once I, you know, begin to get my mind on God and to, you know, praise him and, you know, in the middle of circumstance just for what he's already done. And, and when you do that, God starts to bring back to you and reminds you what he does. You know, he starts to remind me of how he's made ways. You know, how, you know, when this circumstance happened, he stepped in and intervened and made a way there. When this uh, particular illness came up, he made a way Amen. there. And mm-hmm. that's how present God he just brings it back to me. Mm-hmm. And it, that's how the vibes regenerate mm-hmm. uh, the spirit. Amen. So yeah. then, uh, you know, then that's when God began to work and, and put things in place to make ways so that way I could get to, so I could get to uh, work. Uh, even when I got to work, you know, I was thinking that, you know, well, you know, I miss days. I don't know, you know, if I'm going to be, you know, I don't know how my job situation status is going to be. Amen. So when I got to uh, work on uh, Thursday, I walked in and, of course, everybody you know, immediately, where you been? What happened? And all this stuff, you know, managers, so I was like, you know what? You know, what was happening? They wanted to know. Um, and, you know, I just began to tell them to share something about my situation and everything. They was like, well, you know, we have to, you know, get together and make a decision. So uh, anyway, the following day, uh, same manager I talked to on Thursday, uh, I talked to them on Friday. Uh-huh. And they came up and I you know, they was like, well, you know, why didn't you know come to us and things like that? And I was like, well, you know, I you know, just didn't have my and things like that. So um, and it was like, well, you know, I know the situation job and I know you're probably worried about it. I told them no, I wasn't. I was like, because, you know, the Lord blessed me with the job and I know it'd be, you know, close to that door that he's going to open me up and know the door is greater. Amen. So I was not worried or anything like that. And I was like, well, we really want to tell you that because, you know, he said, don't, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You know, uh, we'll, 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 we'll find a way to work that, to work it out. So that was God intervening in that situation. Amen. Amen. And again, if I would have stayed in my mindset, the devil would have started bringing, you know, uh, you know, you're going to be finding all that stuff. And I would have stayed on that, um, you know, uh, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have been in the right mindset and God, um, wouldn't have had, you know, would have instilled me with that peace. Amen. Oh God, and you know, I begin to, you know, just think about I was reading in the book of Genesis, um, Joseph, on how he, you know, from his start, and I was going through, you 
you know, it, you know, he got thrown into slavery. Um, he was a slave for um, uh, many years. Amen. Um, and then God brought him out to work uh, under the head slave master. And then how he went from that being thrown in prison. Um, and, and again, I mean, that's, you know, how life works now begin to, you know, you just begin to think about my own life, how God has blessed me, you know, to, you know, become a young man, you know, graduate high school, you know, get married uh, to my beautiful wife, have my son, how we were, you know, established, and then through my own, uh, the rights to get in this off of God's glory, no matter what you go through, um, how we had our ups and downs. But at the same time, God has always brought us out, and he's taken, and he's just giving us over how he's taken us to a place, um, and it's just amazing how when you when you pray and you and, and you talk to God, how He you know, you know show you not necessarily everything that's going to happen, but just where you're going. And God always told me where He's taking you to. Amen. And and so every day, no matter what I go through, I just keep my mind on where He's taking me to. Amen. Um, and just to have God to help me, you know, to strengthen me on my journey too, so that way when I get to where, you know, he's taking me, I'll be able to step into that and be able to fulfill what he wants me to. Amen. And on this week, and it's been a blessing, I'm going to about loving, you know, people, and, and of course, uh, that comes, you know, love is, is supposed to be unconditional. So if anybody knows a young lady on my job, and I remember I was talking to her because, you know, she was one of the ones who asked, you know, how I was doing and everything. And I just was going to you know, everything's all right, you know, I'm doing fine and all this stuff. And uh, she had a situation she was going through. I remember I began to, you know, I'm just, on Friday, I'm going to begin to minister to her just about how God, you know, will make a way and you know, you pray and you pray and you believe in everything. I was like, you stand on his word. Um, and I just going to share how he's, you know, blessed and dealt with me and my family, how he's made a way for us. Um, uh, and you know, I was you know, well, and she had this uh, child situation. I was like, well, you know, I, you know, I, I can't help you out there. She was like, well, no, you got your own Glory. Um, um, uh, uh, situation to deal with. How you don't worry about me when you got your stuff? And I was like, I was like, I was like well, it's because, uh, it's because you know, God has, and this is, and this is just the way you know I've been taught. I told her, I was like, by me having. I said, it's just my, it's just the spirit that God gave me to want to help, even, and it doesn't matter what my situation looks like. That's right. Yes. It, yeah, does, it doesn't matter right. if I don't, if I barely have anything. What I have, I will use yes. to help anyone. Praise That's the need. I would tell her that she was like, well, I'm, no, I know, and I was, and I was, I was, I was like, don't worry about it. I was good. She was like, and she was just stunned. She was like, you know. Most people, she's like, well, no, nah, I don't want you to, you know, you're going to probably hold it on my head or want it back. And I was, I was, I was like, no, that's, I was like, that's not the way, you know, love works. Love does things for people, and I won't, and it doesn't come back up. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't hold it over your head and make that's you feel like you're yes. a prisoner. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's that you owe them something. Yes. Right. I'm a, that you own them. I'm like, that's, that's not right. the way that works. I was like, trust right. me. You will, I will never bring this up again. Yes. I will never mention it. I won't be. I won't ask you for something. Then you tell me, you know, and I'll be like, "Well, you remember that time?" Yeah. I was like, "None of that be happening." Yeah. And I, and she, was just kind of, she was, she was like, "Wow." She was like, she was like, you know, that's. I was like, see, I said, I was like, see, I said, I, I, you know, I said, me being a child of God, you know, I, you know, that's the way the Lord has shown me just to look at, you know, the world in a different perspective. I was like, and that's what God wants. Amen. That's what He wants. That's exactly how He wants us to be. Amen. He wants to be able to help people. In spite of your situation, Amen. you're always going to have situations. I don't, I don't care what facet of life you get to, whether you get to a point in life where you have, you know, so much, uh, 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 what you think money's going good for you, you're always going to have some type of circumstance situation going on. But in the midst of that, if you're still willing to help someone, God will come in and make ways for you. And it may not be through money, it may be keeping you well. It may be, you know, working situation out of your job. It may be, um, you know, putting people in your life to help you when you go through a situation. Things like that. But you have to be willing to put that out to receive that, to get that back. Because if you don't put it out, then it's not coming back to you. Amen. So anyway, I, I just want to thank the pastor for this time. Okay.